Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to remove a tire to re replace, or in this case, remove a tire um, to do some repair. As you can see, the builder, the way they build this chimney, it's right next to um, the tile. And, and then they have this board. You see this board here? These are nothing, you know, and over the years, the water just kind of build up on these edges and it leaks down the chimney wall and it go all the way down to the floor and it just ruined the floor and the, the wall. So this whole complex, the way how they design is, is terrible. Um, so the tire, I, I kind of push these tires up already and you can see all way over there, there's still a piece going down. Um, see right here, this is originally way down here. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, push up a tile and then, um, and uh, so that way to, okay, basically, the idea is to remove this, this row here so I can do some work on repairing that wall. All right. So, to remove this, to push this tire up, what I need to do is have this, kind of lift this up a little, because else there's too much friction that can push this, cannot push this up. And you can see like this, kind of lift it up a little bit. And also this wall here, this tire here has a, a lot of friction too. So once this coming out, push this with your hand. And then when, once it come up, you can see the edge of the lower tire exposed. Then we can pretty much take out the, the screw like this. And then remove the, the tire down here. So now I can remove any tile I want. You know, once I, when I, I'm done, I push it, put it back, just pull it back down. And that's, that should, should be it. And you can see here, each one of them has a, a piece of wood. There's a lake, like, like this, have this, uh, this groove underneath of each tile. So it just come down here and it just grab into the, these and it stay there. All right, okay, this is what it looked like after I removed the tiles. You can see that quite a bit of build up here. You already did have the flash to go up higher, which is block the water from sipping down. But what happened is these debris here push it up high so the water could just easily overflow this and get into the wall and dripping down. So this house, the floor, the floor below the chimney, it's it's already ruined. That's how we notice when we try to figure out where the water come from and trace it back up here. So, you know, this thing is basically overflow already. So the plan here is basically, I'm gonna cut these tiles up a little bit shorter so that way it doesn't touch the wall once I reinstall them. I'm going to leave a gap, maybe about two to three inches. So that way it's easier to remove debris um, on a yearly basis or every year or two or whatever, you know. Um, so that way the water can easy, easily flow. And when it get to here, a build up, easily flow out this way and go down to the gutter. Okay, so I cut about an inch and a half off to give you some more clearance. Then I'm gonna make the tire a little bit shorter so that way, you know, the debris won't build up like before and it just flow right down to the gutter easily. Um, I also put in a new piece of uh, moisture uh, block paper. Um, and the same thing, I cut the other pole a little bit shorter as well um, over there. So now, what I'm gonna do next is I need to light out some uh, wood piece like this. 
That way the tile can be rest on here and then leave this gap down here completely empty. That way the water can flow easily. So, this should be a fun job. this back down to the original position so what you need to do is use this this level here the bar and kind of lift this up a little because what happened this compresses down so you want it up a little bit to give it to release the tension also this one because this edge here is sitting right on this tower so you, when you pull it out it won't go come down so you want to lift this up a, just a tiny little bit that, that would give it some room so that way it, it doesn't stay too, too hard. Then you pull this down, then release this, and release this, it's locked in. See, now it's back to the way it was, and I can actually step on it. And go to the next piece, again, lift this up a little, so that way it, it, the, it doesn't Press down on the piece on the bottom and lift this up just a little bit to give it enough relief that you can move out and I'll come back to regional. Okay, this is what it looked like after I put everything together. So you can see all the way over there, including replace D2 sideboard here. I put in and also cocking those narrow uh, heads to prevent it from corrosion. So you can see here, this and the wall, now it's like an inch clearance, no longer touching. So any debris coming in, you gotta fall down, go out the alley, and it just, rain water just carry it out to the gutter. So not, nothing gonna be clocked up anymore. Um, this is the better way of uh, how to handle these things. So, Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye.